Hey everybody, this is Kwa. Um, I wanted to show you uh, this video, how you can connect the APM or PixHawk power module to the Mini APM. Um, this Mini APM just came out this year and it's basically the full functionality of an APM for half the size. So I'm planning to put this on a 250 or actually 300 class quad or tricopter um, it's it's really tiny I mean you know just put my hand here you can see uh, let me see if I can find something else that um, would be a good reference for you um, here's what I have let's let's put a pen let's put a pen down so basically you can see here you know you know by the size of this pen that this is a really small um, flight controller. Again, it has the full functionality of the APM in a tiny little 35 by 35 millimeter package. Uh, so um, anyway, but the one thing about the mini APM that, you know, is kind of weird, which I don't understand why they did this, is that the pinouts are different um, for the APM mini than the uh, than the full-size APM or PixHawk. So if you're using a power module like I am, and I recommend that you do for various reasons, I mean, you can power the APM using an ESC, but um, if you use a power module, then you can actually, uh, you can monitor the voltage and the current, which is important to me because I do a lot of FPV flying and I want to make sure that I have enough battery to get back home. Um, so anyway, but um, here's how what you do. The pins for are different, okay? So for the um, power module, you're gonna need to splice or rearrange the wires so that they come in the right pins, you know, so they come in the right place for the APM Mini. And so what I did was I actually cut and cut. Um, the wire for the APM and then cut the wires for the APM mini and splice them together. I mean it, it should be self-explanatory but let me tell you what the pins are for um, here. If you're looking at the power module from this angle uh, starting from the top you're gonna have um, ground the first ground and then the second ground and then you're going to have the current monitor wire, the voltage monitor wire, and then the, um, and then you also, then you have a power wire, 5 volts, feeding 5 volts, and then a second f wire, 5 volts. Okay, so from top to bottom, it's going to be ground, ground, current monitor, voltage monitor, 5 volts, 5 volts. Okay. And that's on the power module. On the APM Mini, what you're going to have is um, is a little different because it's going to be ground, ground, five volts, five volts, and then you're going to have the um, current monitor and then the voltage monitor. So it's a little bit different. Um, again, that's ground, ground. 5 volts, 5 volts, current monitor, voltage monitor. So what you're going to do is that you're going to take the um, the wires from the APM Mini and the wires from the power, power, power module and splice them together so that they uh, will work. Okay, so you're going to feed your APM Mini the right voltage and you're going to get your current monitor and voltage monitor in the right um, in the right way. So anyway, it's, it's, it's not that difficult if you just follow this uh, schematic. Um, as of right now, uh, because APM Mini is just fairly new, there is no power module um, designed for it. So you're going to use, you know, it's okay to use a PixHawk or APM uh, module, but maybe by the time you watch this video, there may be a power module designed specifically for the APM Mini. But in the meantime, you can do it this way. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, um, at the end of this video, include an image that has the schematics so you'll know what you can do. So I hope this helps. Um, 
And um, if you have any questions, then just uh, leave a comment. This is Qua uh, signing out.